Digging me, bro. My team to come and turn to a freak show. Look through the people. Everybody geeks, yo. Need to get going with the next stream. See six midgets that be fighting, juggling. Maybe it's just me, come on, mind is struggling. Babes, boyfriend is acting like a clown. No one's going down every time that we in town. Taking a look through the people. Yo, everybody's getting geek, bro. Stop the hate and let them neeks know that we turn the club into a freak show. Today we got Mason. Uh, he's gonna be doing some work with Lillian. Lillian is uh, she's really good at recognizing what other people are doing on the bike, what they could do better, like better than me at least. She'll point out and be like, "Luke's dragging the brake" or or whatever. I'm like, "Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't even realize that." So we're gonna have her work with Mason. Mason, in my opinion, he is a good rider. I think he's a good rider. I think he's got some talent and skill. His technique isn't the best. Even even though we've done a lot of trainings, I think he just he just doesn't pay attention and he wants to have fun. For instance, like when a track gets rough um, during a practice day, he's always taking the easiest lines. He's taking the outside line. He's trying to avoid the rut. I mean, because he's he's smart. That is smart, but it doesn't help him on race day when he can't take the lines that he wants to. Lillian, on the other hand, like when she is practicing, she'll pick out the most difficult, challenging line and she'll just hit it over and over and over again to try to figure it out to try to master it, to try to get better. We were here on Monday doing a training and Mason uh, just got really frustrated. This is probably one of the roughest tracks that we've ever ridden. Look at that. It's like quite a body in that thing. The dirt here is different from the Northwest. It's different from Florida. It's different from anything that we are used to. So it's kind of like learning to ride all over again. But Mason just wasn't having a good time. He got frustrated. So I told him he's going to take a break. He didn't race yesterday with the other kids and today I told him he's working with Lillian which is kind of like it's not something that you know like a little kid doesn't really want to listen to his his older sister but I told him he's got no choice he, he has to because I want to keep doing this track. I want to keep riding here. I, I want to keep racing here. In order to ride this track, you need to have good technique. Nothing exposes bad technique worse than a rough track. Like you can get away with it when it's smooth and there's no ruts, but as soon as you're hitting ruts and braking bumps, you need to have a better technique or it shows. So that's what we're working on today. Mason is going to be getting coached by Lillian. Lil, are you going out there? Yeah, You want me to clean your goggles? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
there. Does that help get a better shot, <laughs> a better idea of it? <laughs> Keep balanced in. How's he doing? He's doing good. What are you telling him? Like toes in? No, I was telling him, like, I, I like riding when I help him because I can try to figure out what I want to tell him. Like when I ride, I like to hit rut standing up and really kind of just move the bike around and let it lean mm -hmm. and stuff. So I'm kind of wanting to teach him that. Okay. And then I don't want to like force him now, but I don't want him to use the clutch too much, but you hear how he doesn't, the bike just is not going very fast. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do that now, but I want to teach him to use the clutch a little more because he'll go faster if the bike's in the power band. And then I was, I want to teach him to keep his fingers on the controls, like the brake and the clutch. Cause he, a lot of the time I watch him and he like comes out of the ruts. But if he's, if he has his finger on the clutch the front brake, it's easier to save. That's what I do. Like, I'll save coming out the front And then gliding the front brake. But the levers are kind of far out, so it's hard for the grab. Yo, what is up guys? Thank you for watching this video. You watched pretty much the whole thing. You watched almost the whole video. You might as well watch the next, oh, 30 seconds or so. All right, so if you guys like this video, you will love this playlist that I put together. Basically, uh, this race weekend that you just watched the footage of Mason doing practice. Uh, the race from that weekend, I decided I'm gonna, I put it into a playlist. I'm trying a different format. I'm mixing things up a bit. So basically what I wanna do is instead of putting all all the race footage on one video and it's like 45 minutes long I'm putting it into different videos this race was three videos uh, so you can pick and choose you could be like okay I want to watch this video I don't have time to watch this one but I'll maybe watch it later or you could just click on the playlist and you can watch the whole thing the whole way through that is ideal actually because my strategy is that YouTube is that a plane's gonna go by right as I'm trying to end this video uh, my strategy is that YouTube rewards a watch session. So basically if someone comes and clicks on your video or they wanna watch your video, so they come to YouTube, watch your video, and then close out of YouTube, YouTube doesn't like that. They want you to hop from one video to the next video to the next video and have a watch session. So um, basically what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make the race videos on a different channel and you can click on the playlist and you can just watch, just let it roll. You can just let the playlist roll the whole way through. It's about an hour worth of content. I worked really hard on it. I think it's it's a little bit different from what you're used to, but I, I think you guys might like it. So enjoy. Thank you very much. I did not do that. That was, uh, that wasn't me. You know it wasn't me because I would have done a different body part if it was me.